right, guys, welcome back to the channel, man. I'm fired up, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Because uh, we're going to fire up this. We got to get this thing buttoned up so we can fire it up to break that cam in. But we did fire it up off camera, but we have a video yeah, clip of it. We'll clip so we'll throw it in after this intro. Because they, I'm telling you what, dude, this thing's bad. Oh, yeah. But we're going to throw the mufflers on so we can quieten it down a little bit when we're warming it up. But look, we got the some things to plug off the, the heaters. So basically everything to button up the engine area. Vacuums. Our other our hose. hose. And then we got... So we got some cheap gauges just to keep an eye on the temperature and stuff. When we run it. When we run it. And you'll... And when you see in this clip... You'll understand you'll why we have why we to have this. this. <laughs> because, well, we got a lot to do tonight, so uh, let's just get to work. So we're, what are we going to be doing? Oh, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, for one, we're going to pull that carburetor off. Yep. And do a, a uh, carburetor rebuild. Yeah, basically cleaning rebuild. Yeah, we, we probably won't do it. All, like, it's oh. just that front. front. Oh, it's the back one. No, it was the front one. Okay. Just that's why I quit running. The back one's the secondary. Okay, yeah. But uh, it was only running off that secondary for a minute. But guys, we got it. We're going to put button up the the cooling system. We're going to put the the exhaust on. We're going to... Maybe. We don't know yet, but that's We so might far. start the car again. It all depends if we get that far. Because it's a lot of work. Cause, and guys, we decided. Tell them what we decided, Hunter. The intake. Oh, yes. Go ahead and tell them. Okay, guys. We're putting that big old intake on the Nova. We done decided. We're going to break in the cam first with this intake. Well, really, we're just going to wait till we get the hoses in yeah, to finish we, that. Yeah, we have to order those hoses yeah. because we went and got all this stuff, and they don't sell it around here. So, we have to order it online from Speedway or Summit, Summit wherever. whoever we get it from. But, guys, we're going to put that big old intake so we're most definitely gonna have to have a big old hood. Oh yeah. <laughs> what I'm wondering is, do we have to use that spacer still? I think we will, just cause we want more height. Cause the more- We'll see once we get on there. Yeah, and then I'll have to, we'll have to retune it again. So, you know, we gotta pull the distributor and all yeah. that. But guys, that's the fun part. We're build more horsepower in this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I might fix that bracket tonight too on the back. Cause I have it ready and ready to go. And we got a bunch of bolts. So let's get to work. <laughs> Guys, let's get the, this carburetor off here and put my dinner over to the side. That's what you get whenever Crazy Dave's coming over. We gotta be ready and have energy to keep up with him. So now we'll get this carburetor took off and I, why don't you use of this? Oh yeah, David brought that. Yep. Um, but this thing was barely bought on. Well, oh, did we ever tie that? <laughs> David, this carburetor is barely bolted on. Well, all right, guys, it's cold in here. Let's get this carburetor off and get it over here and let Dave build it here. Hey, that gasket still looks brand new. It's only ran for about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's because it is brand new. We got Crazy Dave here. What are you going to be doing? Well, we're going to take this thing apart and put this kit in it, so maybe it'll... Right, we'll get that. Run a little better. Yeah, because Dave had it running. This thing sounds good, and then all of a sudden, it, <laughs> something got stuck. What, well, I mean, uh, and, here, yeah, here. Something, something in the car. Right? And it so, came with the car. It so. was sitting in the car with dust. You never, and then it was in this dusty garage forever. Yeah, I mean, so, so I'm surprised it ran in the first place. Hey, <laughs> Dave took it out there and gave it a, a um, cleaning, a ten, East Tennessee cleaning, and it done pretty good for a while. Crazy Dave's over here rebuilding that carburetor. We're going to come over here and button up a little bit of this cooling system. So I bought some of these to plug off these uh, radiators. I'm going to put some clamps on them. 
so we got that blocked off now. Wow, that was that was hard. that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> now we just got to plug up um, that that thing since we're going to use the um, where did where did that part go? Well, we're using a PVC valve, mm -hmm. so we got uh, block off that one in the back. In the back. So what size do you think it would be out of these guys? Maybe that one. You think or that's this one? one? All right. It might be a big one. All right. Oh, I don't know which part you're talking about. Yeah, let's, let me get right here. You can zoom in here, maybe. It's right back here. You see how big that thing is? It might be a big one like that. Well, this one might work. Let's see. Why didn't I do this before we... <laughs> David told me to, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Man, look how dirty that is. So that was inside. And then it ran. That's surprising, ain't it? Mm hmm So there's like gunk build up and everything. So you're going to take care of all that, aren't you? Yes, sir. So I'm going to let you get back to work while I jump back over here. No water here. We got to make sure that we don't have a... Geyser. Is that what they call them? Geyser. 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 <laughs> oh, Lord. So, um, let's put the... You want to put the other hose on? Yeah, we can get that radiator. Where did I put those clamps? I don't have to find them, but that's what we'll put on next. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I got to cut the lens. My knife, my two knives look where it's had a borrow Dave. Have Dave cut it. So, we got it right. Finally, buttoning up this cooling system. My goodness, is about time. Right, there, there it is, buddy. Perfect. Look at that. Now your hands in the way. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh yeah, it looks good. Tight, perfect. All we gotta do is tighten it up. Fan Fan gonna miss it. Whew. How close is that? Uh, that far away. Oh, okay. It's not bad. So here we, we go. We gotta get it tightened up. All right, guys. We're gonna put this custom leak guard. Uh, for this battery, we're gonna put this in here so we can just temporary till we get a We might better buy one. a new one, or Hunter might build us a new one. But uh, let's get this in so then we can all have to have a battery on the ground, right? Make it easier. Make it easier on crazy day over there. We got so much going on in here right now. We hey, got... talk about what all we're gonna need to change this. Oh yeah, for the intake, we're, I'm gonna have to because uh, on the other intake it don't. It don't have the the heat right here, so I'm gonna have to get a new one of these where you can put it in it. Yeah. So I need to get that. What else do I need to get, Dave? That's it, ain't it? Yeah, yeah just that. That's and we gotta what, get the hoses. And I gotta and get the hoses and all that. So we'll order that tonight or tomorrow, and it should be in in the next day or two. So we're not gonna change that yet until we get everything here. Yeah. And then we'll change it. And, uh, Dave said it should give us 500 more horsepower. Yeah, that would be awesome. We're putting it, this custom tray right here is going to give us a lot of power. It's going to make it lighter. <laughs> <laughs> it is lighter. Yeah. <laughs> a weight reduction here. Yeah, if it's rusted out, that just means it's lighter. No, it just, you know, that's where your battery acid leaves. That means race car. Yeah. This is for popping wheelies. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's for. They, they so, call us a trick or two. What are we going to do next? Are we going to throw the exhaust on? Uh, we'll we put the exhaust on probably, and then we'll pro we might put the, these, uh, go ahead and put these heat things on the the, light, the spark plug wires, because uh, as soon as we get this where we can run it, we're going to run it. Yeah. We don't want them to. We yeah, the heat protection shield. And we don't want them to burn up. Because, I mean, those are expensive spark plugs. <laughs> so, let's move on. Let's do it. All right, guys. I got my tools, my gaskets. I got the, the yoke for the dry shaft so I can measure it while I'm under here. But we're going to be putting the exhaust yeah. on. Yeah. Right now, we're going to put these. They're our custom exhaust. Um, it's built. I mean, this thing's good. It should quiet it down a little bit, but not too much. Yeah. We like it loud. So, let's see what we got in here.
All right, guys, well, we got this, uh, that, that, uh, that plugged off, so now we can just go off the PVC valve. I, we covered this up so junk don't fall down in there. And we got the exhaust we on. We got the exhaust on. We got the water lines on. We got the battery tray on. We'll bring our battery over here in a minute. So and we're still there. putting together on the carburetor. Still, that carburetor, I cannot believe that thing ran. It was bad. It was bad. So he's cleaned it. He cleaned it. And now we're assembling it. So then we'll get it put back on. And we probably won't be able to start this thing in this video. Not in this video, but we have that clip of it running. Yeah, so. we got that clip. You're going to enjoy that, hear that because... And then I'll have to stop and pick up some coolant. Plus, I need to buy a fuel filter. Yes, so we don't, don't have one yet. Because we have, we, have, we have, oh yeah, come over here a minute. We put this piece on. We got this piece now. What is it? It's the it's for the fuel the line. Fitting. The, for the fitting for yeah. it. We put it on. So uh, we need to get these uh, heat shields on these spark plug wires. We still ain't done that. We we got putting an exhaust on, and that, that was pretty fun. Um, and you cut yourself. Cut myself on old rusty here. But, uh, but I gotta finish cutting this side out. Yeah. So I quit cutting myself. So let's get to work. Let's get to work. All right, Harry, we're gonna put this thing back together now. You ready? Crazy day, got it cleaned up. So time to put it back together. We're gonna throw it on a time lapse. So let's do it. Crazy Dave has got it done here. It smells like carburetor cleaner in here real bad. Yeah, it does. And I'm seeing like five, ten fingers right now. But uh, it looks good. It, it does. And it works good. And it smells good. Whew. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go put this back on so we can keep stuff out of the intake. We'll get this put back on and and hopefully maybe we'll fire see from there. Up in the next day or two. Yep. All right, guys, we got this thing. Crazy Dave got this thing rebuilt for us. So we're gonna put it back on here and hope for the best, right? Yep. No, ain't gonna hope for the best. Oh, I gotta line the hose up. There you go. All right, beautiful. Looks good. There's that, guys. This is exciting. We're gonna have a brand new carburetor. Basically, well, it's basically, basically rebuilt. rebuilt. So it looks good. Dave, so hopefully, perform good. Job. Thank good. you, Dave. Everybody, give, thanks, Crazy everybody Dave. Everybody tell Crazy Dave thanks and. Well, we're trying to get him to take that motorcycle with him to fix it up, get it running for us. So we'll move on to the next thing. Yep. Whoo! You know what time of year it is, don't you? We're back at the garage to get some more work done. Yeah, and it is cold. So we're gonna knock the chill off with this bad boy, just for a minute, right? Yep. Is this thing plugged up? All right, guys. On this bracket for the rear end. The hose need to be a little bigger, so. We mount it down on the welding table. We broke it. Yeah, we get to use it first time. Instead of rebuilding carburetors, we get to use what it's for. Yeah. I think it works pretty good. I think it works real good, don't it? You don't have it big enough? Yeah, that should be. Good. Okay. I'll check it in a second. Look how awesome that is! Just it. Yeah, I mean that clamp works out perfect. That thing is sweet. I mean, what I, would you rate this table? I I'd give it a what? I'd give it a solid eight out of ten. Yeah, because it needs to be bigger to be ten. Yep. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, I want you to look down here. See how far away that is? I'm having to just put this nut that I found because I don't know what size it is, but it is whatever size this is. I'm using it just to crank it in. And then we'll have to probably jack the car up where the suspension will go down to get it to line up up here. Yeah. So, um, and we might have to get a little bit different nut. Uh, nut. Yeah. But for right now, this is going to pull it in where it needs to be. Yeah. So uh, tomorrow we can pick up the right nuts and put on it. But we can get this rear end put in. We cut these away and put the nuts and stuff on it. And then we can attack the dry shaft. Hell so yeah. we'll measure that here in a minute. And, and then we'll see what size we need and get it ordered and get it put in here so we can drive down the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, Alright guys, well we got that on. Wow. That's, that's <laughs> a pain. Uh, so we'll jump up here. I'll put that yoke in and hopefully get a measurement on this dry shaft. Let's get to it. Alright guys, before I look for a measuring tape for this uh, measure this dry shaft, I want to... Tell them what you got. Yeah. I was going to show them. Tell us what you think. I mean, would, do you think these would look pretty good on here? Now, if that wasn't there, though. I mean, but it'd be further back, of course. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be right here. Hey, let me get the other angle so you can see. What Honestly, think? I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> what do you think? Make sure you comment. Let us know. I think, but what's cool is we got them for both sides. Yeah. If not, the mirror we have is just for this side. It's like on the Mustang, how it only has one. Oh, dude. No. No. <laughs> no. Don't no. look right on there. But it would look awesome, I think, on here. Because this is from a Chevy. Yeah. I don't know what year. I think it's from a 50-something Chevy. Yeah. So, so, guys, comment down there. and Should we use these on this or save them for Rat Rod? or hey, Let nice. us know. I mean, it's up to you. Just let us know on this one. Another thing we got, so when we get this running, we'll be legal. Is some seat belts. I'm excited for those. So, uh, they're brand new. They're never brand been new. Open. I don't know what. Who knows? But hey, they're gonna work. We're gonna mount them in this thing. Now this seat has this thing come up for the seat belt, don't it? It does, but the, that's because the seat didn't go in here. Yeah, but we're gonna do these. They would just go across your lap, like the old school Mustang. And yeah. Chevys, but we'll do the, we have enough for the front and the back so which we probably won't ever run anyone in the back but, but just to be just legal. in case yeah in case we put a car seat in there and put an infant back here with all those <laughs> gas fumes <laughs> that'd be bad but guys let's see what else we got here we, we've been racking up on some stuff we've been here. getting parts here and there trying we, to get everything ready for this have, car we have some uh tail light lights yep we have a uh, for running your wires through your firewall Dude, I mean, we're gathering up parts for this thing because we want to get it done. We want to get it running now. I'm trying to find my measuring tape, guys. So wish me luck. So let's find keep looking it. for it. We'll get it down there. All right, guys. Well, I've been peeling around over here. Hunter's been over here trying to organize. Trying to get some stuff organized. Getting it looking better because I mean our garage just got a little chaotic. Just don't look in there. <laughs> <laughs> he took those out. We did have them separate, but I told Hunter this is a nice toolbox. We have our nicer tools in it, so why not? So put all of our nicer tools in it. I mean, that's organized. That nice. that way, and that we top know, needs a lot of work. Yeah, we, we we're thinking about getting new sockets and stuff. Yeah, because those are so old, and we have half the sizes missing. Yeah, it just one thing about it is when you start working on things, you lay things down, and and then you gotta find it, and uh, we're gonna have to go through this garage one day and gather up all the tools, and we're gonna have to keep organized. Yeah. So I did this a year ago when I had perfect. A then, year went by. And, and it's it gotten bad, yeah. So guys, let's get under here and measure this dry shaft for once and all. Once and for all. Yep. <laughs> so let's do it. He's under there getting the measurement. How's it going? It's going. It's very dark down there. Yeah. Looks like 53. 53 inches? 53 inches. What's we need to measure that one we have? So let's. I, I don't want to measure the one we took it off of. Yeah, we are. Well, <laughs> no. So we're gonna measure it and get back to y'all. All right, guys. Well, this dry shaft that we was wanting to use will work. It's 53 inches exactly. But what's so bad? 
And funny. <laughs> and funny to Hunter, but not to me. Is the one we took it off of was 53 inches. So we didn't take it off. <laughs> oh, it, but I mean, I think that's come out of a truck because look how look at the difference. This yeah, one's that from one's over the there Nova. Is huge. This is from the Nova. Yeah. And that one is a lot bigger. In so, diameter. And I don't know what it's from. But we got the parts. We got it here so we can put it in, guys. We'll bring the gear shifter. Guys, this is getting close. Oh, yeah. We'll bring the gear shifter over here and everything and just go ahead and uh, get it put in. Make sure everything works out. The transmission's in neutral right now so I made sure I could turn that yoke back here. Uh, but uh, so what, what, what do we got to do then, Hunter? That's it for this video. Yeah, I mean, because we got everything that we was wanting to get done, done. We got the cooling system in, the carburetor rebuilt, all the things blo blocked off that needed blocked off. Yep. Uh, that got bracket, the bracket on. on the rear end, measured the dry shaft, put the exhaust on. Rebuilt the carburetor. Rebuilt the, did I say that already? I don't know. Rebuilt the carburetor. So everything that we was needing to get done, we got done. Next video, we might, we might, we got every part for the 350 now. Oh, yeah. Everything. I'm so excited totally to that together. Can build that thing right now. I mean, we have everything. And so we're going to start gathering up the other parts for the rat rod. And then if we can get everything here, we might go ahead and jump onto that thing and get it built. Pretty built. Because we have a plan. Yes. But we're not letting anyone know. But uh, because uh, David thinks he, Crazy Dave thinks he has us a rear end and not a four nine, nine inch rear end. So uh, then we'll start building that thing. Oh, that's going to be fun. And then maybe we can put the rat rod outside. Hopefully the motorcycle's going to Crazy Dave so he can get it running for us. Because we he has time to do it, and so we're like, we're going to let you take care of it while we work yeah, on Yeah, he's this. so smart. I'm like, Dave, just get this thing going. And he if he gets it going, then we'll bring it back over here, put the exhaust on it to get the batteries and all that for it, and, and then send it on its way yeah. wherever it's going. Whoever's home is watching right now. This could be yours at a real good price when we get it running oh, yeah. and everything. So, guys, make sure that you tell your friends to like and to subscribe because we're, we're we're growing, guys. We just need to keep it up. So we're make almost sure, to six hundred. So we're thank almost you. to six hundred. So thank you, Yuns are the best. We really appreciate you. And guys, everyone that comments, we really do appreciate everything. And this new year, everything is going to be a year of growth for this channel. Yeah, and we're the builds we're going to do. We're wanting to do some cool stuff. Like this rat rod is going to be pretty cool, but I mean, we're going to finish up this as soon as it gets thing. warm. We're, it's going to be done. Uh, then I guess we'll, we're just going to go full force on the Nova, whatever yeah. we want to do to it, get it run. Because that thing sounds so good, it makes me not want to get rid of it. I don't know if I want to get rid of it. So maybe we'll fix the rat rod and get rid of it and keep that. I don't know. Hey, we'll see. <laughs> but guys, make sure you like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll appreciate you. Thanks for watching.